Okay, teardown review and comparison time. We have two bulbs here. Uh, they're basically both directed to the same marketplace, the, the GE Reveal and the Cree TW. First things first, why are these bulbs so interesting and why are they being marketed at a fair premium over a standard white light bulb? It's all about light quality. Uh, what I have here are some very colorful candies and I've got a incandescent bulb at the moment shining down on them. And of course, uh, you can see the colors. I've set my camera to, uh, to a fixed white balance, so I won't try to auto white balance as I change the bulbs out here. And what we'll see is actually the colors are much more vivid with these two bulbs. So uh, let's just pop out the picture of all three bulbs composted into uh, one slide. Uh, upper left, of course, here is the incandescent bulb uh, that we are looking at. Uh, adjacent to it, uh, the Cree bulb on the upper right, and then below that, the, uh, the GE bulb. And you can see both these uh, bulbs uh, are offering a much more vivid light uh, than you can get from a standard incandescent. Uh, we'll start through all the metrics. Uh, the first one, of course, is how much light do they produce. Uh, this one's 570 lumens. And this is 800 lumens, but more importantly, it's actually the efficiency, the number of lumens per watt. And from that metric, uh, the GE is coming at 51.8 lumens per watt, and the Cree is coming in at 59.3 lumens per watt. So let's ring one up for the uh, Cree as being more efficient bulb. Next question, of course, warranty. Uh, these are pretty expensive bulbs, and uh, the warranty is important. Uh, Ten-year warranty on the Cree, uh, ten-year residential warranty, actually, with no, no conditions. The GE says uh, five-year warranty, three hours per day, so uh, clearly the Cree warranty is much, much stronger, so let's ring one up for Cree. The price, uh, they're identical, uh, $19.95 each at the Home Depot. Um, so these are definitely bulbs you want to be putting into locations where light quality is very important. So we'll leave the score here neutral. Uh, one more metric is, uh, <laughs> it wasn't planning on this one, but um, whether or not the bulb survives shipping. Uh, I had these coming from a mail order, and uh, if I unfortunately shake the tree, there's uh, something loose inside of it. So uh, we're going to ring one up here for uh, for GE, of course, surviving the uh, shipping process. Okay, spectrometer, and of course what that plots is the intensity of light at various wavelengths. And of course that's the critical thing about all these bulbs. Uh, let's pop up the window here of the uh, spectrometer output, and uh, the first one here is a regular uh, Cree bulb. A CRI of 80. Uh, this is the one that sells for considerably less, but you can see of course there's a, a spectrum from uh, red to blue and uh, you can see some yellow there. Uh, hold the thought about yellow because that's quite important in these ones. Let's change the scheme here to the GE Reveal. Uh, you can see that the GE Reveal has notched out the uh, yellow in its entirety and the blue seems to be significantly depreciated, so perhaps what they've got going on there and then to the Cree TW, uh, we can see there's a little more yellow left in, but there's still a notch now uh, in that area, just a bit further on. And the same thing with the blue, uh, notched out in one area. So uh, I guess this is what's giving the visual effect of uh, much more vibrant colors. Uh, in terms of those uh, little candies we looked at, at the start of the video, uh, the Cree TW did seem more vibrant, so if that's the effect you're seeking, it seems to give you uh, the greatest vibrancy for the buck. Um, so let's ring one up for Cree. Okay, uh, enclosed light fixtures. The um, GE bulb is quite ex explicit. You can't use it in an enclosed fixture. Uh, the Cree bulb, uh, if I read the text correctly, seems to indicate as long as all the bulbs inside the fixture are uh, LED based, uh, the bulb will work. So we will definitely ring one up for Cree. And uh, that, of course, brings the next observation. When you look at the, uh, the older Cree bulb here, this was the first one they introduced, you can see they've dramatically increased the size of the uh, heat sink. So, uh, I'm sure that's uh, definitely helping them uh, have a better service life. Okay, let's talk about light distribution patterns. This is a, a polar graph, and uh, the bulb's sort of placed in the center here. A uh, polar graph basically shows you the light uh, intensity in any direction. The larger the number, of course, the greater the light intensity. A lot of A bulbs, of course, uh, don't emulate the incandescent A shield very well. Uh, the Cree is quite good. Uh, it's a larger plot here. Uh, it's got nice lobes coming down. It's got good side firing, relatively balanced in the top. I suspect the Cree, uh, the GE, pardon me, is slightly more of a downward firing bulb. It doesn't have quite the same lobes down here. So let's ring one up for Cree. Okay, let's talk about flicker. Um, LEDs, of course, uh, can be constructed so they have no flicker. Uh, for reasons of economy, uh, often manufacturers produce LED bulbs which have flicker on them, which is a bit annoying. Uh, and it's doubly important here for the bulb, which of course is supposed to have high light quality. Uh, easy test, a uh, solar cell here, of course, which converts light to electricity. Um, I hold the bulbs constant at uh, equal number of uh, lux, and then uh, record the RMS voltages. Uh, now this one, this scope's telling me that it's, um, let's turn the bulb all the way up. 
there is about 500 millivolts of flicker for an any there 500 500 millivolts of flicker on the uh, the GE bulb. Uh, when I run the test again, uh, the, the Cree TW came in with um, 620 millivolts of flicker. So uh, in this case, the uh, prize goes to the GE. All right, well there we have it, uh, the GE reveal and the Cree TW. Um, since I have a keeping score, uh, it looks like from what uh, I'm interested in bulbs, uh, the Cree TW is a, a standout. Uh, definitely stronger than the the GE product. So if I was looking for a bulb that enhances color, uh, I think I'll pick up the TW.